Welcome back everyone to Outworld Platinum Walkthrough. In the last episode we have taken care of the Mixed Legacies faction quest of the Blue Chamber Collective. We received the parallel quest Blood Under the Sun for the Heroic Kingdom, which will be our mission of the day. And we have also been killing the uh, mercenary captain for the most succe successful outcome for this quest. I have the copal set almost complete now. I have crafted myself the armor, the helmet I got from Roland, and the boots are now in the making. So, so I have made my way to the Abrasar Desert. It's now night, so the temperatures are a lot more manageable than usual. As you can see, it's now cold. So with a little protection from cold weather, you would be good. Now that we are next to the oasis, might as well take a peek at this little fella over here. A robed man. Wait, what? Uh, nothing. What are you doing out here? No, this is troubling. Nothing, leave me alone. Wait, this is Wait, what? So you're supposed... So you're the supposed assassin of Prince Jaden. I take it. You don't look like a priest of Elad. This is trouble. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, they set me up, all right. They gave me a big sack of coins to run straight down the main street of Levant in this ghetto. Then I heard, stop him, he killed Prince Jaden. And I knew I had to get as far away from the city as I could. I'm just a puppet, I swear. <laughs> I know I should probably head back to the meetup point, but considering they are willing to murder a prince, I'm freaked out that they might kill me just to keep me quiet. I can't stay out here forever, but I'm scared to go back. Where's the meetup point, exactly? Listen to me. Near the giant insect hives, there's this old prison in a cave. I know some bandits sometimes use to use it to stash goods for people they want to get rid of. My contact used to the pl the place for us to meet up. Can you help with this? Wait, you're just telling me up front? No, this is I troubling. I kind of just feel like my odds of survival improve a whole bunch if someone's tough looking like you goes there first and, you know, take out anything nasty over there. Who was giving the orders? Who killed the prince? Wait, I what? don't know. The guys all had masks on and nobody used their real names. I thought this was just a distraction for a robbery or something. I didn't think someone, let alone a Prince Jaden, would end up dead, I swear. You should probably turn yourself in. How dare you? I'm not risking a life sentence in that cell in the slums. Not to mention whoever organized this mess would put me on their short list for every bloody accident. If I ran my mouth, I'm not going back to Levant. No way. No how. Okay, so he told us about the meeting place in the, uh, in the prison. And by prison, I mean the Hive prison. So I want to make my way over there now to save a little bit of time. Yeah, when, once you're on your way, you um, might also kill the uh, shell horror that is near the Immaculate's camp for one more horror chitin. But first, let's take care of the hive, hive prison. Okay, let's head in here. I mean, it's very hard to miss. Here we are, Hive Prison. So in here there's another Hive Lord and two of the uh, walking Hive, so the Hive Men. What you want to do is run in, read the note and get the hell out again.
Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't read that out. I don't want to risk a disease with those guys. The harm, the, the swarm infestation, it's annoying. done now let's take a look how the shell horror is doing sometimes there are some fire enemies very close nearby so your job becomes a lot easier but no such luck this time also mind the palladium veins that are nearby just for good measure I'm going to, going to turn off the light, equip my combat gear, and take care of the little dude, the illuminating horror. Right on. Oh, I actually want to kill the second one before I take care of the shell horror, because their healing is a little bit annoying. Okay, Wind Infusion did a good job for us, uh, Wind Infuse, where is it at? Yeah, no matter, over here, Infuse Wind, hmm. also want to loot the ornate chest once we're here. Hound mask. Okay. Plus ten damage bonus on a head on, he on the headgear. Another palladium vein over here. Good. Now we want to head to Levant, pay a little visit to the slums. Okay, I wa also want to take care of one more of the mantises, of the mantis creatures here in the desert. Just guess one more thing I want to craft. Maybe I get to buy it from the caravana. over here. Might as well eat the Tormip while we're just running around. Okay. 
what I'm going to do once I'm inside Levant, I will do the uh, Levant looting route once again. I'm going to sell off all my expensive gear, buy all the ging uh, gold ingots I can get my hands on, and then I will go to the slums for the for the next clue. Yo, I will see you right back at this at this magnificent city. We are back. What I have decided on in the meantime is that I will be receiving my third and final breakthrough point for this character. And before I do that, I want to quickly walk over to the blacksmith to also get his quest rolling. Master Smith Tokuga. Oh Craft me something. And we want to start with the Tenebrius set. And I want to have the armor. Five Hackmanite and two silver. Well, bye. Let's go. Now I want to talk to this guy over here. What could I do for you? Jamin. And I want to use his skill tree. So, I want to buy Swift Foot, Marathoner, and also the Shield Infusion. Right, I hope this will make my build a little bit more complete. So, I'm going to quickly assign that to my defensive side over here. So it basically use, uh, works similar to the Mace Infusion. The next elemental attack that you block gets absorbed into your shield and it imbues your shield. <coughs> and once you block another attack with your shield, it will create an explosion of uh, the infused element. Let's see how that goes. But first, we want to head up next to Barrelman, take the ramp next to Marcus. We're going to look for the final clue. Let's see if Pigeon Eye has something to, to, to say uh, to us. I see it all from up here. The good, the bad, the van dream, barely fading. Let's see if this chest restocks. It does. Nice. So there's always the same stuff in here. Might as well grab it. Uh, one thing with the uh, with the merchants right now, their the prices for the items that you buy are increased, and also for the items that you sell. Um, when we progress the blood under the sun skill uh, quest the uh, prices for the items that you sell will stay the same but the prices for the items that you buy will decrease they will be at the normal at the regular rate and also a nice little thing to note is that the inventory of the merchants restocks right after you completed the quest so i went ahead and bought a few things Nothing major, just just a few potions, pressure plate traps. So in case there's something you wanna you wanna have, you get basically a free merchant reroll without having to spend three days here. But now we have something in this bucket. This is the last delivery for a while, Pigeon Eye. The Baron is muscling us out of the smuggler's tunnel. He's moving loads of weapons and personnel in and out frequently. I don't know who he's working for, but he's got Levant city guards on his side now. 
I overheard one of the guards say something about reporting to his boss in the Hive prison that the Corsairs sometimes use for interrogations. I'm not sure if he knows who uses, the, who uses that place or not. Either way, it's signs of serious trouble coming. The evidence of a plot within Levant is mounting. You should turn in these documents to someone from the Levant military. So how this quest is supposed to go, this is probably the first one, the first note you should read, which points you to the, to the Hive prison, which then leads you to the burned outpost. It doesn't matter in which order you pick them up, so I do recommend to do it in the order that I showed you, because it saves you on a lot of pointless traveling around. Let's see how is our sleep is the bus doing? Not great. Not great. Okay, so I'll prepare for the uh, progression of the quest. I'll sleep, stock up on some food items. Be right back. Okay, let's talk to Serene now. Let's hand over the evidence. Uh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy. Perhaps some other time. I want to talk about the murder of Prince. You have something about the murder of Prince Jake. Don't just stand there, spill it. I found some evidence about the plot. I think you'll want to see this. This is... I can't avoid this conclusion any longer. Prince Pietro, what in a lot's name were you thinking? Based on what we found, it seems like Prince Pietro has been plotting a coup. Against King Simeon and Queen Calexa, and that he masterminded the attack on Berg as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not to mention, he's been making use of that damn smuggler's tunnel under the slums that Baron Montgomery got built. We need to move on the peril. Are you ready to go now? Yes, I am ready to come along. Where are we going? We're gonna flush him out of that smuggler's tunnel. Come on, let's run. You and I will go in from the Baron's manor. I'll have Isa and hold down the palace side entrance, and my troops will call the slums exit and the desert exit. Come on, let's roll. So, Izan is also doing pretty good. Moved up in the Levant military as it seems. Trusted right hand man of Cyrene, I guess. We are now in the smuggler's tunnel. You didn't bring any water. There's some over here. Might as well stock up. Pull this lever over here. Step this path further down. I see a gate here. Another lever, another one, and a few trucks down there. Okay. Why are there trucks down here? Good pick. Baron Montgomery. Are you serious? What in Earth Lot's name are you doing in here? This is private property. I'm a damn Baron for a lad's sake. Get out before I have you arrested. I should be saying that. You're an accomplice in Prince Jaden's murder. Oh dear. Oh no, they're coming for me. I wasn't expecting this so soon. 300 silver. I give you 300 silver if you just pretend you didn't see me and you just let me go. So, what are we gonna do being a good guy? Judging by the stench in your little playroom down there, you've got plenty of blood on your hands. No, this only ends one way. You, you'll never take me alive. I wasn't planning to die, Troxbaum. Okay. 
total axe marble shield so this shield applies confusion it's also heavier otherwise it has basically the same stats except for the uh, durability so we've taken care of the baron and when you head down this ramp be careful there's pressure plate traps hidden at the ground you can see one to the left. These are really cheeky. There's another one. Here's a little chest. Let's loot it. Now let's report back to Cyrene. Quest complete. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm quite busy. Perhaps some other time. I want to talk about the Myrtle Prince. All right. We've blocked off the other exits. Keep your eyes peeled for Prince Pietro and the Baron. We don't want either of them to risk slipping through our fingers. Okay, she moves on. Apparently we made the right call not to let the Baron escape. Who would have guessed? Uh, let's head further down. You can already see a bandit over there. Only a piece of us. Unfortunately, I missed the shield, shield charge again. I have to work on that a little more. But first, we want to heal up. Okay. Here you can find a star mushroom. You can pick it up if you want. I prefer to pick up this crimp over here. Okay, when you walk over here, this is the exit to Abrasar, so the desert, uh, the desert exit that is covered by Serene's men. Let's keep walking. Over here you can see a suspicious wooden plank on the ground. And I have a bad feeling about this. Might as well buff up. Oh no! We're in the truck cave now. First thing you want to do is take care of your poison body. check if, if there's something else in here this is the lever we have been up there with the baron let's see what this does nothing apparent what does this do open the gates all right so to the right over here is the chest we have just looted If there if anything changed at any other location this first level that we flipped down there in that cave it did okay we can now cross over here when you flip this lever you undo the little bridge Here is the little smuggler's tunnel. There's nothing to do here. I just want to show it off so you don't have to go here. 
is the wall palace passage key required? Hmm. I wonder. Also, there's another crimp over here. Crimp nut. When you follow up these steps, I think that's the uh, exit to, to the slums. That is the uh, door that Marcus is guarding in the slums. Do I have, yeah, I have mana restoration. Let's get that going. Now we want to head back into the, mm, let's call it the major cave. Major cave, reporting for duty. And we want to make our way down. Over here. Further down. Okay, so this is the draw cave. special over here. There you can see sirens smoking as usual, having a person pinned down. And also another little chest. Right. Let's talk to Sirene. Uh. I want to talk about the murder prince. All right. I know when I'm beaten. Just like that? Do I look like I stand a chance against the two of you? Cornered down here by the army, I have a far better chance of survival if I throw myself on the mercy of my parents, even if I was planning to kill them both. Why would you do this? My parents have grown soft. Old Levant is an existential threat to us. And still they want to welcome their people to join us. And they still treat the Blue Chamber Collective like equals. We were not elected by simple humans. We were anointed kings and queens by a god. My, my brother was too nosy. It was nothing personal. He would have found out about my plot to kill Calixa and Simeon eventually. And I needed to be secure in the knowledge that I would be the only true heir to the Levant's throne. If you want to live, I hope you're willing to rat out your followers. Never. I won't let those who pledge their loyalty to me die for nothing. It's the least I can do for those who claim and who came this far for me. I may just be a murderer to you, but I have principles. I'd rather die than betray, than betray them. You're lucky you're worth more life. I'd kill you myself. I won't resist. I'm not stupid. Take me in, Cyrene. Gladly. For the record, I'm sorry it turned out this way, Pietro. You're not who I thought you were. As for you, Umberto, good work. My men will take Pietro into custody. The heroic kingdom is in your debt. I will personally report your impact to King Simeon himself and see to it that he rewards you adequately. You also killed Baron Montgomery, I hear. <laughs> I uh, won't ask for the details. As far as I'm concerned, the number of corpses in that torture room more than merits his death. I'll report you, you killing him as self-defense and leave it at that. Good work. Yeah, let's call it self-defense, I guess. I mean, I kind of was out for his head anyway, but yeah, no one's, no one's asking. Blood under the sun updated. Talk to Queen Calixa for a reward in the Palace of Levant. First, walking here. This worries me. Well, the inventory is still the same. It has not been restocked just yet.
Cyrene told us about your work bringing down Ketra's plot against us. Thank you for bringing his terrible ambitions to an end. What will happen to Prince Pietro now? An example must be made of him. That's what the firing squad is for. It breaks my heart, but I must put the good of Levant above my feelings. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Not to mention he was planning to kill us both. We raised him to be better than this. Did you though? Hmm. Not judging. This weighs on my mind. Without an heir, the succession of Levant is thrown into chaos. There will surely be more opportunists who will try to position themselves to claim Levant the moment of uh, one of us is gone. Things will be difficult for the foreseeable future. What about the Baron? I wish you could have taken him alive, but dead is better than roaming free. Hmm. It appears he was putting pressure on many of our merchants as well. With the Baron out of the picture, I'm certain their prices will return to normal. Hey, thanks. Serene tells us tells me that you gave her the information she needed to solve this case on Bartu. Thank you for your efforts. Excellent. We might well owe you our lives on Bartu. You're always welcome here in the heroic kingdom. Okay. Blood under the sun. Completed. We have finished the third parallel quest. And now the prices in here are back to normal. Finally. Can I help you? And the I and the uh, inventories have been restored. So, do you know what's going to happen next? Wrong. Not a shopping spree, because first I want to show you a little something. Let's head into the slums again. Let's see if Tamara has something to say about the situation. You touch it, you buy it. Mm, don't mind if I touch you then, right? She now sells the Chimera pistol. Powerful gun that inflicts, inflicts elemental vulnerability in one shot. All the enemies that you shoot at that are not immune to this status effect will take 25% more elemental damage from any source. Isn't that great? Okay, but now, shopping spree, be right back. So let's talk to Tuan. How can I help you? You will need 700 silver for this. But you want to go ahead and buy the chemist's broken flask. Oh, why do you want to have this? You remember in Chersonese, we have picked up a strange rusted sword. In Monsoon, we have bought a mage's poking stick. And in Berg, we have bought a blacksmith's vintage hammer and now we have the chemist's broken flask the commander said to make this sword fit for a king the mage who used the stick favored magic that man manipulated fire shadow and time the smith wanted to refine strengthen and sharpen all weapon in the armory Only the chemist knew how to mix poison, sun dust and demon blood. So, you want to open the crafting menu with the strange rusted sword, the poking stick, the hammer and the flask? To get Brand. Brand is a one-handed sword that does 20 physical, 20 ice, has 27 impact, attack speed of 1, but it inflicts chill and pain increases the frost and physical damage they take. So this is one of the few weapons in the game that increases its own damage. The more more of uh, the it increases its own damage. Once these 
hexes are afflicted, they are more susceptible to the damage it deals itself. Which is pretty, pretty nasty. So if you're not too keen on the Sky Crown Maze with the Maze Infusion, you could go ahead and use Brand with the, with the Puncture Weapon skill to deal some damage. Like this, so we have a little more defensive capabilities. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice weapon. Something to think about. Okay, I've also adjusted my inventory a little bit more. I packed in the ghost drum because I do now plan on venturing through the desert. If you remember, we have our treasure hunt quest that once that yearns for completion. And we also have one more Sar Stone sitting atop of the electric lab. And there's another thing I want to take care of. So let's head into the desert. As usual, when traversing the desert, make sure you have enough of enough water skins with clean water so you can take care of the of the hot weather. And also Needle tea is very helpful. And of course, the usual food items that I have been mentioning all over the walkthrough. The needle tea. Could also just grab the uh, uh, weather defense potion. Whatever suits your needs. Before we head to either of the Sar Stones, we want to make our way to the Walled Garden, which can easily be identified in the northwestern part. So when you exit Levant, just head northwest and you can already see it over here. But do be careful, there's quite a lot of golems here and one unique enemy. And this unique enemy is one of the strongest definitely in the base game. But in my opinion, in general, if you try and fight it fair, fair and square, you're in for a rough, rough time. So what I first want to do is take care of a few minor enemies, like the beast golem over here. Might have also seen that there's a sh another sword golem dancing around. Make sure you take them one at a time. Pull back if necessary. Okay, one down. Next. See if there's over there you can see the compress guardian patrolling the upper area next to the tree. Okay. Which is the reason I brought my dear dear pressure plate traps, ghost's eyes, and also the ghost drum. So what I want to do. Oh uh, no. I want to place the ghost drum because it inflicts haunted on the enemy. Haunted makes the enemy take more ethereal damage, so it will increase the uh, power of our ethereal traps. You can see the area is pretty nice, and you want to make sure your traps are placed within this area. What I also want to do now, because I have just read that the enemy is not immune to confusion, I want to put a tripwire trap in this doorway, right over 
here. Next I want to craft cloth knuckles and put them inside. So the idea is I'm going to run in with my chimera pistol and I'm going to shoot it. It's immune to bleed, poison and burning, so no damage over time effects with this one. But I want to shoot it with the chimera pistol to inflict elemental vulnerability which already decreases its elemental defenses by 25%. Then I want to get it confused so it, it gets knocked over more easily, so I have a little breathing, more breathing room in case I need to dodge. Then I want to lure it into this area where the ghost drum will inflict haunted on it for 25% uh, decreased ethereal resistance. So, in theory, this should make it 50% more vulnerable to ethereal damage and it already has a weakness to it by 40%. So, my math doesn't fail me. This should do something around 100% more ethereal damage to it. Might as well knock on the totem when you have some time but make sure not to get hit this thing will decimate your health bar come on my guy Right oh. So one or two traps more would have been a lot more easy, but we came here for the compass wood staff. It's not particularly important to our build right now, it's just another unique weapon that can be upgraded, which I intend to do. Yeah, but all in all it went pretty smooth. golem over there but I don't want to fight it I don't care I just want to get out I've got what I came for okay and I'm now going to make my way over to finish our treasure hunt I'm not going to edit this out right now just in case you don't remember how to get to the location just so we're on the same page so we want to head towards the Kabbalah uh, Cabal Wind Altar. Do we have anything for me? Greetings, friend. Nothing. No. Okay. So make your way over this wooden bridge and take a left without sliding down and follow along this little cliffside. You should now spot some wooden planks that have been mounted to the to the mounted to the rock and we want to head over those all the way around and over here you can see some smoke coming from a building which is our destination so make sure you head inside docks storage
down the stairs and up again and over here you can see a chest which has just some regular loot so why are we here because now there's a lever available to us treasure hunt has been updated and what you may see now this wall is open and we can grab our star stone and the treasure hunt has now been completed okay but that's not all we want to do we also want to head to the electric lab make it to the top so we can grab our nice star stone So this is now the first time that I'm retracing my steps toward the electric lab. So I'm not 100% sure if the if the short if the shortest path to the top is still available to us. But we will see. Okay, might as well loot the ornate chest nearby. you're in the uh, also going to the electric lab and you're feeling feeling good about your combat abilities you may want to take on a few more sword golems they can they can drop their broken rapier which you can repair and re and sell in Levant for 360 coin so in case you're a little short on money that is might go ahead and do that or do another ornate chest run which is what I'm going to partially do. I just grab the ones that are on my path anyway. Okay, there's another beast golem. Let's see if we can take it down without any issue. there was another one and I don't want it to ambush me because I do plan doing some inventory management because I am pack I am packing but looks good it looks good with that out of the way make your way over to the electric lab be careful on this side I have not found a, a good spot to slide down without taking too much damage gonna try the wall now okay that went good now let's head inside if I were you I would avoid those sharks again they are a little annoying one of their attacks usually tends to go around my block so they hit me from behind Okay, this is still locked. Or can this be opened at all? It looks like it, but yeah, I don't worry about it for now. Let's just see. I'm sure it's not working. See if we could just head up. Probably not. I hope, I hope we don't have to do this one again. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Okay, we have to do the level puzzle again. we prepared for combat actually 
keep the boots on so we have a little more traveling speed movement speed i mean oh, annoying oh, let's walk over here flip this lever to send it back up set down this no we have to Back. To go further down, face north, drop off here. Oh, I hear the mechanical clickety clack all over. Golem over here. Yeah, we really have to do it all again. But it's good practice. Okay, I want to flip this one as well. Now we want to retrace our steps. Drop off here. this path along be wary of enemies oh I thought it would get me stamina region I want to go ahead and kill the elemental particle that's in this dungeon over here okay, these guys fighting a wall you do you buds you do you so annoying Gotta take care of this one quickly was the wrong skill. <laughs> yeah, I kind of already knew it wouldn't happen. Good, let's put our shield infusion back. We also are now afflicted with zapped. Our elemental damage output is reduced by 40%. I'm gonna loot this chest over here. That's funny. I was wondering who they were fighting. Okay, so we do the chest. Didn't get the particle as per usual. I mean, why change things up now? Eat a jerky, uh, apply a bandage. How does my slew sleep? For about 10 minutes. Oh, I actually need to flip that switch. Also, I forgot the power curl the last time I was here, so I want to grab it now. Hello. Goodbye. Now we want to head back into the room where we have evaded the three little forge golems. Retrace your steps. Get up here. Uh, 
head up the ramp and go back to the elevator but not before you have flipped the switch one more time oh no yeah this is the location sorry that's it oh well, isn't all that bad wrong direction need to go up Head up the elevator send it back down and ride it back up great Machine is purring like a like a cute little kitty. So head outside. I'm gonna equip my traveling gear again. Finally time to pick it up. Another star stone. Let's loot the ornate chest for good measure. Okay. The next thing on the agenda is to take care of the Ash Giant's quest. But before that, make sure you head back to Levant one more time to sell off all the goodies we just grabbed. Spear was over here. <laughs> I'll see you back at Levant then. I'm almost finished with my shopping spree. Listen. I can now collect the armor piece. Right. The Tenebrius helm. Want to buy something? And let's get the boots. Well, listen. Okay, almost done. Gonna sell some more stuff to him. Okay, I want to make a quick tour towards Tamara and then we are done for Levant and Abrasar for now. You touch it, you buy it. Okay, she doesn't have any coin left. That's all right. Okay, I'm doing pretty good on the gold ingots. I have now at about 250 already, so we are halfway there. But I'm also pretty keen on the Horror Chitin, so let's see how things will go from here. That's it for this episode. I'm going to end it here. I will see you back in Berg in the next one. I thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Wind be at your back, my friend. <laughs>